Hi, everyone. Um, I feel like I had a slightly different route into all of this, I actually listen to everyone talk. Um, I got my first degree at Southampton in biology um, as a mature student and um, stayed on at Southampton to do my PhD again in biological sciences. But my interest was ecology and um, plant sciences, really. Um, subsequently, just as a point of interest, I had two children. So uh, whilst I wholeheartedly agree about volunteering, it's absolutely vital. I wasn't able to do that because I had two young kids. So I kind of had to really find another way in with experience on my PhD. And I really wanted to stay in research, but I wanted to stay in the area. So um, I decided just to take a job that wasn't ter paid terribly well, so I could um, afford to do that. So I started at the NHS working on a research project quite recently, actually, in the maternity department. And I suppose if you're looking for a job, what I've found is that if you do, if you are able to take something that's not terribly well paid, but it's in the area that you want to stay in, I've subsequently moved from there and I work now in haematology, supporting the um, the um, research nurses. And um, it's kind of allowed me to negotiate just better um, conditions for myself. So I didn't really start off where I wanted to and I worked quite long hours and did all of those things. But, but my step up has allowed me to kind of have a bit more choice over my hours and earn a little bit more money. So that was kind of my um, route into it. In terms of staying in research, um, obviously you can go kind of down the postdoctoral route, but um, kind of struggled to find anything locally and I'd made the decision that I wanted to stay local. Um, working for the NHS has allowed me to do that. Basically, I kind of quite lazily just put myself on the alerts from the NHS and they come in my inbox still, continue <laughs> to come in my in inbox to see if there's anything better paid and more interesting, I suppose. Um, and I just basically trawl through those whenever um, whenever they come in. It's really great actually working in cancer research. It's a little bit depressing sometimes because obviously people are sick and that's why you see them and if they weren't sick you wouldn't see them. But um, it's great to think that you might be a small part, and I am a very small part, of making people better and one of the things that we strive to do at the hospital is to get the best possible treatment for people and um, it is lovely to think that you're kind of might be part of kind of that bigger picture um i think that's about all i have to say really